What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you a commercial I made about dog treats and later on we'll talk about how you can create your own sound effects. So this is my dog, Britt. Say hi, Britt. Say hi. And she was the star of the show in that commercial, along with Hazel, my sister-in-law's dog. And we love Britt so much. She's so cute. I mean, look at this face. Look at his face. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that cute, Pepper? I love her so much. All right, Brett, you can go now. We made this commercial because we love our dogs and Britt, um, every time we give her treats, she always jumps up in the air to get it. And we're like, you know, it looks really cool in slow motion. So, you know, why not make a little, uh, you know, fake commercial about these dog treats? It was a lot of fun. I loved working with the dogs. The one thing that um, stood out to me were, and a lot of my videos it stands out, is the sound effects. Um, so the process I normally go through is I make the edit um, of how I envisioned it, I set up the shots, and then I find music that's going to go with the video, the theme of the video, the pace of the video, and then I cut the edit that I took, the rough draft or the, the rough cut and I put it to the pace of the music. So I find points in the music to edit that cut, rearrange it. And once I have the music done and the rough cut done, put together, then there's another layer I like to add, which is sound effects. You can do a lot with sound effects. You can really enhance your films, your videos, your commercials, whatever, with targeted sound effects. So one thing in particular was the dogs would hear the bag opening and that would be their first cue like something's going on. So I needed to emphasize that sound and I didn't have an idea of where to get that sound. There's a lot of sound effects libraries all across the internet. You can get lots of good sound effects, but I knew I had the bag. So I took my audio equipment and recorded myself opening the bag myself and it worked perfectly. It matched the thing perfectly. And that's something that you can do at home as well. It's a system or a little art form called Foley. It's when people, they're professionals, they go in when movies need sound effects, they use like different kinds of items, like random items to make those sound effects in post-production. So they're sitting there, they're watching the movie and they say, okay, I need to make, um, let's say some clothing rustle. So they get, clothing material leather or cloth or whatever wool you want whatever you want to use or whatever is in the movie and they rub that together they make the sounds that they see on the screen and then they use that sound in the movie to mimic what's going on in the scene 
And it's a really cool process, really fascinating. I encourage you guys to go look it up, do your research, because it's amazing what these people can do. They're almost like wizards with the sounds that they can make with the most random objects. You wouldn't even believe it. So I tried to do a little bit of that myself in this video. Um, so the main sound effect was the bag opening, the bag ripping. So I did that again um, in post using my recorder to emphasize those sounds. I also wanted to get the dogs um, running, but I didn't have that sound and in, in camera, it was slowed down and my wife was like yelling at the dogs to come. She was like trying to get them to come. So there's a lot of other sounds going on. So instead I used uh, my fingernails on my wooden desk and I recorded the uh, little taps. And it wasn't like the greatest sound, but it added something to it, another layer, another texture. And I thought it, it helped the scene because it would have been weird to have like just a few sound effects and then nothing else, it would just be music. So I tried to layer it out throughout. And really you can use this technique on everything you do. Like as far as video goes, you can use it in any video. It's just another step, another layer to add. And literally you can do this at home. If you have audio equipment, which if you're doing video, you should have audio equipment, then you can do all the sound effects yourself. You just have to get really creative. And Britt is bugging me. Britt, you want to say goodbye to the people? Come on. Oh, here we go. All right. And that's all I have for today. Um, stay tuned next week. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more, of these videos. If you want to see more Brit, then make sure to <laughs> subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. I post um, every Wednesday. I, you know, I try to post every Wednesday. And yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next week. Mwah. I love you.